and then you switch to Renault and the next big highlight was winning your home Grand Prix in the in the first year with Renault where you then say a comment also and you say when it works you are God yeah. that's how you you felt as well in that moment I always felt that I still feel it for other other people or the uh, sportsman or whatever or even not or even outside sport I mean when you win, I mean, uh, you, are, you are like God because you, you can say, if you win and you're strong, you can say everything, even if it's, you know, the people, they listen to you. And uh, otherwise, it's, uh, yeah, it's part of the game, you know. But, uh, yeah, going back to winning the first race, it's a strange feeling because uh, it's not uh, the, 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 the moment that I remember the most, you know. It, it's like... Uh, uh, okay, you, you need to have a first time. You know? But that was the first time. Is uh, okay. It was in France. It was with, with a French team, but it did not have the the, the repercussion that uh, I could uh, I could um, imagine. You know, but it was really like first step, and then I had to I had to to find something else. But it was a, a very difficult um, time at Renault 81, 82, 83, because. Uh, can I, can I interrupt you there? Uh, I, I, I interrupt you because you say the difficult time. I just wanted to uh, mention a few quotes that you said about this difficult time before you explain it. So you said it was the worst situation of my life. Uh, it's incredible how much you can suffer when you are in the spotlight like that. Um, these were some, some comments that you were, you were saying at the time. So, uh, and it was all around um, your teammates being more loved in your country. So it was Arnoux at the time, and he was more loved in the country, even though you were much better and you were right in many incidents. Um, can you explain a little bit how, how tough that situation was? I think this quote arrived after, in 82, after the French, the French Grand Prix, you know, is uh, because I really um, discovered uh, a, a strange thing that I, I never I never experimented before. I never I, I, I could not think about about that because in fighting eighty two when we were you know we had uh, we were fighting with the, uh, the BMW engine so I did not ask anything and the the, 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 the team manager and, and the president of Renault at the time Mister I know they came in the motor room and they asked Rene uh, because I was leading the championship he said we are going to give you more boost on the engine. And to fight with uh, with with uh, Brabham, and then if they they stop because they were they were really like this with the reliability of the engines, if they stop and you are first and second, you 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 uh, Alain should win the rest and you you leave Alain winning the rest because that's part of the deal. He said yes, no problem, do it like this. Then it happened exactly what we have expected. The Brabham fell. And then we were first and second. They show him the, the board, and he, he refused to, to leave the way. For a win, okay, but couldn't understand. But uh, I would have preferred that he would say no. Uh, for a win, I mean, I don't want to do that, you know. But the most important is not only uh, losing the rest and maybe losing the championship because uh, that was part of the part also of the history. But it's the reaction of the people inside the team and, and many outside, especially on the public. Uh, you know, the, I'll tell you a, a fun story. I came back, uh, I was living in uh, saint chamond the small city close to Saint-Étienne. Came back in the evening after the, leaving the Paul Ricard. I stopped on the, the fuel station. You know, the time we had a, a card, a fuel card, you know. So I stopped the station and, uh, and the guy was there and... Uh, I had the card in hand and he recognized me. I thought he recognized me. I said, oh, I saw the rest and, uh, you know, uh, I was very upset and uh, whatever. I said, oh, yeah, wait. are you happy? I said, no, I'm not uh, happy. And the guy said, but you know, this <laughs> Prost is a <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, how, how can you, uh, how can you, uh, I mean, this, uh, I had the card in my hand, I put the card in my pocket and I said, okay, and I understood. And from this moment, you, it's only one day, but it, it, it has been a, a disaster. And I could not understand that the, the justice, you know, is on, on the other side, you know, because I did not, never ask anything. And uh, I had some problems in France. And uh, that is from this period, I have decided to move to, to another country. 
and they even put your cars on fire, you know, in front of your house, and, and it was exactly. a total mess. But, and how did you deal with that personally, that this unfair hatred that came towards you, even though you were in the right and you never did anything wrong? Uh, they just happened to love the other driver more in that case. But how, how did you deal with that and rebuild yourself or, or get through this phase um, personally? It was one of the most difficult because I always think about that. I had the same experience in 89 with, with Ayrton, in fact, at Imola, you know. So I, I, I had that twice in my career and twice I've suffered, suffered about that in, in a big way. It's very difficult on the human side. Okay, people, they don't know me very well, but I'm very, I'm very straight. You know, I'm very straight. Sometimes maybe too much, but uh, for these kind of things, for the justice, for the, the word, if you give the word to somebody, if you, uh, I am very, very straight. And I could not accept that. But at, at the end of the day, you say, okay, in fact, the people around, around you, they are not like this, you know? And uh, how, how can you handle that, you know? So in fact, you have to, you know, to go back to the, the people that you love and uh, they love you and you have to do friends and you you separate more the more the people but you have to live to the with the media with the press i mean uh, very lucky that i we did not have the social media at the time because it would have been uh, would have been a, a, a disaster but that's nice how you say to to regroup as well and re re um re find your own confidence you go to search for those people that are close to you and that love you and the close friends the the people who are separate from this uh, from this chaos that's a very nice uh, very nice thought and, and thing to say. Difficult, but you know, uh, for many, many years, I, I never read any uh, newspaper, or, uh, or, uh, you know, because uh, I did not want to, to read uh, anything. And uh, I, I have, uh, as you said, I mean, uh, two cars uh, uh, in front of me, I had some messages before every race on my uh, answer machine, you know, and you're going to kill you, you're going to things. and. Uh, I was really afraid, you know, at one, at one stage. It was really, it went over the, over the top for, for nothing, you know, for nothing, for no reason. So, you know, it's, it was really, really tough. And you had the same exactly again in, ni in 89, where everybody, where, where the majority was on Senna's side, even though again, um, um, yeah. And, but is it possible to enjoy the sport still then in these moments or is it just zero enjoyment? You, you enjoy less. Uh, and uh, that is the most difficult. Uh, you you always are in balance in your head and in your heart. You said, okay, I love my sport, I love my business. Uh, it's very important to have your team close to to you. You know, even some mechanics. You know how it is. You know, you need to have a, a few people. But uh, very often you say, okay, well, why you do that? I mean, uh, how can you do it? Why you do it? And how can you do it at at one hundred percent if you are not psychologically, uh, you know, at the top? Because at the end of the day, you need the, the public, you need the people to support you. You know, I mean, if you have a football match and if you have the, if you are in uh, in house or outside, you you don't have the same. Uh, and it's exactly the same for us. Even if we are in the car, we have the helmet, they don't they don't see you. But we need to have the, the the support. You know, I mean, you drove at Monaco like me. When you are in Monaco and you can feel the people, they 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 they, they cheers for for you. You know, and you can you can see the people even when you are driving. It gives you more confidence. It gives you more more power, you know. And if you start to have some doubt about it, for sure your your performance can be a little bit less. So it's very difficult mentally, and that's that is my that was my biggest problem almost all my all my career for sure.